With your support, I will be able to get my book with photography into print. This is a proof. It's the only copy so far. Hardbacked with 440 high quality pages of images and text. This extract is from the introduction. Ultimately, while there are so many books about photography, is there still a gap that needs to be filled? Today there are also blogs and websites by amateurs and professionals, and there are books filled with glossy images of celebrities. Yet while there are many books devoted to the medium, how many focus on what it means to individuals who have lived and breathed photography without ever having seen their work grace the cover of a magazine? My book explores several unanswered questions, such as why do I take photographs, whether we are speaking of amateurs or professionals, enthusiasts or occasional users of the camera, what is it that drives some photographers to take the pictures that they do? What is the motivation behind the taking of certain photographs? What do they mean to the person who takes them? What do they mean to the viewer? Can one image have many meanings at the same time? And are they all equally valid? What is the photograph's role in our lives? Given that we all take pictures nowadays, what makes me the right person to write this book? And why do I want to write it? Starting to take photographs from the age of five with today's smartphone technology would probably almost be an expected phenomenon nowadays, whereas 50 years ago it was unusual. It has taken a long time before I realised the importance of photography in my life, but from the moment I picked up a camera, I have continued to express myself that way. I am also lucky insofar as I have a huge photographic record of my family, as the generation since its inception have held a fascination for photography in tandem with industrial and technological advances through the years. I have lived and breathed photography all my life. It has been with me, enabling me to function as a normal individual when the challenges I faced seemed insurmountable, as they sometimes were. I have photographed as a granddaughter, daughter, sister, businesswoman, family historian, wife and mother. I have explored it privately. If asked, I would describe myself as a professional amateur photographer. My photographic education has been formalised by completing an honours degree in applied photography and digital imaging and I am an associate of the Royal Photographic Society. Along with other interests and stories I have brought it all together offering proof of a strength that I, like many others, have learnt to draw on. Whether or not it is within the field of photography, I hope that this book will not only be of interest and a good read but that it will be inspiring, encouraging others to believe in themselves